Hello, good morning. Welcome to another KHC Couples Video Devotional for the 7th of September. My name is Jagede Olorunjunwolo. Today we are going to be looking at the five deepest desires of your wife. She won't tell you the part two. Number six, I need tender loving care. TLC for short. Yes, believe it, I may look like this super Amazon of a lady that has everything figured out. But there is a little girl in me that wants to be tantalized. She wants you to be caring. She needs you to be tender. She doesn't like it when you shout on her. Number seven, I want a lover boy, not a lecturer or pastor. When she's tinkering with her moods, she needs you to lovingly find out what is happening and not lecture or sermonize. It is not a classroom or church. You are supposed to be a lover boy, not a lecturer or a pastor. Sometimes all your wife needs is just to know there is a husband who shows some understanding because she sometimes doesn't even understand herself. Number eight, I need you to whisper in my ears and taunt me lovingly. Your wife loves that a lot. You just try it out. Most husbands are too serious reading Bible all the time. Or doing some office work at home. Office work should be left at the office. Have some family time and some wife time. It would improve a lot of things. Number nine, concerning sex, make sure we both finish. She doesn't want to be abandoned along the mountain top. Sex for a man is a sure arrival. For your wife, it is a gradual ascent. A mountain climbing and a multi-orgasmic experience. This requires a lot of skill and patience on the part of the husband to take it slowly and guide his wife to arrival before him. Number 10, I need you to find out my love language and speak it. Every lady has a love language, chiefly acts of service, quality time or gifts. Find out what it is and your wife's peculiarity and simply stick with that language. That way you will be able to cultivate your love more effectively. May your marriage be blessed. The meditation for the day, 1 Peter 3 verse 7, KJV version reads, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being hers together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. Prayer for the day. Number one, help me to be sensitive to the needs of my spouse. Number two, Father, I receive wisdom for my marriage in the name of Jesus. Then number three, my marriage is blessed in the name of Jesus. Confession for the day. I am sensitive to the needs of my wife. My marriage is blessed. God is involved in my marriage. His grace is at work in my marriage. His mercy speaks over my marriage. I am deliberate about the success of my marriage. I will not compare my spouse with another person. I will not speak carelessly. I will use my tongue to speak words of life. I build up my spouse with words. I call forth the goodness and greatness in my, in my spouse. My marriage is blessed. Action plan for the day. Do something that speaks your spouse's love language today. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandus.com. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage. And these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlovescom slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.